Lock up. I gotta lock up the sleeve way. I think we'll wait until tomorrow to set nets. It's kind of hard with just two of us, and I know that auger will give us a hard time. Because it's so heavy and there's all this fresh snow on the lake. Like uh, yesterday there, as soon as I stopped and tried to take off, we just, just got stuck. Boy, get ah! the hell out of here! Bird. Last night, we were about to go to bed and we seen a skidoo light coming. Wondering who it was and it was a guy from Patchnack. He was coming back from my lacrosse, sitting at the bar, he said. So he was a bit tipsy. Uh, Sheldon, his name is. Sat there with him, had a beer. After that, he took off and he said, which way to the point? He was talking about this portage. I told him where it was, but I told him where the point is because he wanted to drive along the shoreline so it doesn't get lost. I said, to, uh, I said go straight out right here, you'll hit the point. He said, okay, takes off. And he, uh, I told him to go straight. He starts going this way, coming over here. That's why I uh, came to check, but I tracked him where he turned and he went along the, along the shore towards the point. So he probably made it home safe. I better head her back. Can't go too far. Running on fumes here. The old tunge. Make a guy go deaf, this thing. Still cold out here, bye. Minus 35, feels like. Last cold day. I was looking at the weather, it's supposed to be minus 8 tomorrow. Minus 2. It's going to be a good week. But we have everything loaded up. My dad's later has everything in there. Weighs a ton. Hopefully we don't hit no slush with all this snow. And hopefully by the time we get over there, this thing will be a... Uh, running smooth at the bottom. They're a bit grippy. But after driving, they'll uh, start to wear out and be smooth. I'm talking about that puck where sat on the ground there when we left last one. So now all that grass mud out stuck to it. And it's not so slippery. But we have around a 14 kilometer drive north to where we're uh, we're gonna go set. She's cold, but uh, living with your bare skin holding my camera here. I can feel it on my hand, my fingers. Anyway, I'm gonna let this warm up a bit and start drilling. That's 
a lot easier right there than using that ice fishing auger, 8 inch blade, and then working your way around. That's a 20 right there. So we only make one hole, use the chisel after that. That's about it. There she is. So right here, I'm just uh, pulling in the net. This is the second net. And after I'm done this, I'll work this line because the jigger's right here. Work it and send it that way, 100 yards. And how do we know it's 100 yards? It's marked on this running line. Could do this all day and not get sore. That's a workout, this fishing. I'll walk backwards or forward, whatever, just so this line doesn't stay in a pile and freeze. It gets tangled up. Fishing with Bushway 101. See how deep this is here, buddy. Yeah, Where's your rock? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Today, hump. Why well, he's getting mad boy, this guy, for nothing to do? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn it, that's the dam, huh? He was yelling at his generator when we first came. Mm. That's the ground already? No, nope. too deep. Yeah. No, that's right. Right, you might as well go straight for the straight that way. Where's your stick, buddy? Right here. Just can put it there. I'll put it. Uh... There's no number on there. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd seen it. <laughs> Oh, 
You be ready to must be good for each one net, huh? Huh? Each one net. Where? Right across here. Yeah, used to fish there. Yeah. Right here. Deep. Straight to the gravel point, but each one net. It's deep. Huh? It's it's right in deep the bay on the beach. Like. The only place Where? I wouldn't be shallow would be in that big like right here. Ah. You can cross it this way. There's a little bay, yeah? Yeah. Yes, 24, yeah. If we go this way straight, that'll be okay. Yeah. Chicken! Come on, boy! Come get the pill! Come on! That's it for the water. Now to head back to camp. We got fires going, fire in the house and fire in the shack to dry out our uh, stuff. But that's pretty much it for today. That older guy there that was fishing with us, he's from Patchenac, one of our good buddies. My dad's good buddy. Every day they talk on the phone. Sounds like NBC, huh? Uh-huh. Mmm. That's uh, how they go. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. I think I'll keep on. Keep on keeping on. One more day of this. Setting nets and then switch it up on Tuesday. I'm a number. Just in case there's a. They're all marked. I was gonna say just in case there's a seal watching. But I know. 
I know you're watching. They were out here this fall, but I never did see them. They came to the cabin for coffee. They said they left a note, and that was it. Say what up. Say what's up.